everybody it's Michelle and I've got a really cute idea that I wanted to show you guys today for a summertime bead charm we're going to be making a barbecue grill I really really love this idea it is so cute and I'll tell you first off what we're going to be needing and that is three head pins I've got two inch head pins here and I'm using the gunmetal color but you can use whatever color you choose and then I've got three bugle beads in black and those are two millimeters by about seven and then three number six seed beads also in black and then I've got this little half circle metal bead cap that you've seen a couple of times already in my videos I use this first of all in the graduation bead charm as part of the graduation cap and then for Father's Day I used two of these together painted white and red and made a fishing bobber so we're going to use that today to turn that into the body of our barbecue grill and all I did to that was just take my silver paint pen and just paint that very narrow edge right around that top rim and you'll see why in a little while and then I also have an 8 millimeter rhinestone and this is with the pointed back but you could use flat back if you wanted to or a number of different things and it was just a jewel embellishment and I drilled a hole in that if I can get that where you can see there we go I drilled a hole in that with my Dremel tool and that was fitted with the 3 64ths bit and I did kind of wobble that around a little bit to make it just slightly larger so if you wanted to you could even use the 1 16th of an inch bit in that to get that hole a little larger because we're going to need to feed all three of our head pins through that and then I have a bead cap here and it's one of those thin pliable ones just in a really open sort of design with not a lot of metal to it and that's important and I'll show you why on that too and this is seven millimeters across right now but we're going to flatten that out and that's going to get us about 10 millimeters across when we do that and then I've got a jump ring and a lobster clasp okay so to get started we're going to take each of our three head pins and on each one we're going to put a number six seed bead and one of our two by seven millimeter bugle beads and those will become the legs of our barbecue grill so then when you've got all three of those on there we're going to hold them together and put all three up through our bead cap you may have to feed them through one at a time because it's going to be kind of snug once you get them all in there and you can see they already want to spread out like those barbecue grill legs and now bring them all together at the top again And we're going to feed them up through the hole that we drilled in our red rhinestone. Again, even with the larger bit that we used for this, it's going to be snug. But that's okay. We want it to be. And with it snug in the long run that will help to kind of hold everything together Oops. 
bent that over a little bit. That's okay because we're going to spread those out in a minute anyway. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that at this point. So that we've got our little barbecue grill shape. And now what we want to do with our little silver bead cap, we're going to take our chain nose pliers and we're going to flatten that out completely flat. And that will be the rack on our grill. And that's why we wanted a very sparse sort of bead cap so that we can see through that and see the red. But where it's not a circle with an outer rim, that's why I painted the rim on my other bead cap silver to kind of complete that look of the circular rack. And again, patiently feed all three up through there. And if you want to, you can use the Dremel or even a bead reamer and make these holes a little larger if you want to. But I find that if they're very snug, it all holds together a lot better in the end. I might want to take my bead reamer and see if I can make that one just a tad bigger. To help me fit those through. There we go. And now we can see that red through there, like the hot coals in our grill, and see how that silver edge sort of helps give the look of a complete rack there for us. And now I want to sort of get a little bit of a twist, just enough to help hold things together a little bit. And then just give that a bend. And we're going to cut off all three of those as one unit. And roll them up into our loop. So now at this point, kind of adjust those legs, 
the way that you want them. Make sure that we've got those even. And then we can add on our jump ring and our lobster clasp. And you all could use a number of different things to accomplish this look. I just really sort of thought of that barbecue grill, that traditional shape of that three-legged grill when I was working with these little half circle bead caps and so I wanted to create that but you could come up with this in a number of different ways they also have these online in larger sizes which may be a little easier you may could find a different bead cap here for the rack um, down inside if you don't have the stones you could use a sequin down in there. Anything to kind of reflect that red color to imply those hot coals down in there. So, a number of different ways. You all just kind of get crafty and see what you can come up with. And maybe what you've already got in your stash to create this sort of a look. I just thought this was so cute. So you all let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to visit my blog at craftykaleidoscope.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.